Hi, welcome to our next video. We are going to learn one of the Excel most used formula, VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP gets you data from one table to another based on a common value in those tables. Let me show you how it works on task number 5. Create new column product price in orders sheet and get price of each product there from the products sheet. Let's move to the orders tab. In column D we see products, but we don't see their prices. We want to show them in column F. We can find those prices in sheet products where we have details to each of the product. Column B is price and that's what we are looking for. Let's go back in orders tab and create new header in cell F1. Call it price. In cell F2, we will start typing our VLOOKUP formula. As in all formulas, start with equal sign, then VLOOKUP, and open the bracket. Now, first parameter which is required is a lookup value. That would be the one thing which is the same in both tables. In this case, the product name. So click on the product in D2 and type comma. The next parameter is called table array. That would be the entire table where we are looking for the price. In this case, it's the product table. So, go to the products sheet and with holding the left mouse button, select all the columns of the table from A to D. Just release the button and put comma after it. We are almost done. Excel now needs to know from which column should he display the value. Starting from left, we have first column product name, second price, third state of origin and fourth is product category. We want to display the price, which is the second column, therefore type in 2 and don't forget the comma afterwards. And on the end, always input 0. So the Excel searches for exact matches and hit enter. We can now see the price of the bread in orders sheet. We however want to see all the prices, so we just autofill the entire column by double-clicking on the green square in the bottom right corner of the cell 2, like this. As you can see, prices of all products got filled into the column. Before moving to the next, the next task, I want to share one very important note with you. Before you use VLOOKUP, make sure that the column based on which you search the data, in our example the product name, is left to the column from where you return the data in our example, the price column. Otherwise, you won't be able to use VLOOKUP. For example, it would not be possible to pull product name based on state of origin, since state of origin is right to product name. I hope VLOOKUP is much clearer to you now. Let's exercise on task number 6, where we are instructed to do the same as in task number 5. Just, we are searching for product category. Move to the Orders tab and add a new header, Product Category. Underneath it, just like before, start with an equal sign, VLOOKUP, open bracket, click on Product, because based on that we will search in the Products table comma, go to products table, select it, comma. Now comes the only difference because you want a different column now. Product category is in the fourth column from the left. Therefore we input 4 and 0 after that and we hit enter. Voila! And don't forget to autofill until the end. Guys, these were the basics of VLOOKUP. I hope that this helped you understand it. You can now try to create your own columns using VLOOKUP to master it. 
See you next time.